Good international time everyone, I am your favorite fish shifter, Eyeless Rook uh, and today we have a YouTube tutorial or actually planner tutorial this is actually a requested video from one of my viewers and actually someone in the <laughs> actually in the in the um, Timefall 2 in-game chat because they have noticed my reload animations and actual pilot models that I use on my stream and so on and so forth but I'm I'm going to actually keep away this promotion. We're going to do this as um, as best as I can actually provide you with the best information that I have of how you can actually export the mod, uh, actually import the models from the game files. We're only talking about Timefall 2. It also works on Timefall 1, but the downside about oh, this method method is that it doesn't actually work that well on Timefall 1 since you actually need like a uh, third party um, program edited this procedure to actually te uh, get the texture files. So, disclaimer the disclaimer of this video is that I'm not really that good at uh, Blender. I only am actually a new Blender user or Blender, if you want to call uh, me like that. I don't even know how to call, uh, how to get yourself, uh, how can I actually call myself like that. But I, I know how to export the models, how to texture them, and how to actually use them for animation purposes in your future projects or streams. I really don't care, and so on and so forth. You do whatever you do. So, without further ado, let's start the video. First, as you can see in the ma uh, in the main screen, we have four folders. Well, one is actually um, a shader to Blender. We'll get back to it later. So the programs you'll need for this uh, for this to work is to have the Timefall VPK extractor. Um, if you guys are actually into modding, uh, into into Timefall modding, uh, you will actually know. Uh, what this is all about. Legion, who, uh, which is a, a program that was released a year ago, it's a RPEG extractor from Apex, a lot of the content creators of Apex extracting models and textures with this uh, program. And I'm doing this video because many of the new tutorials on YouTube don't actually include Legion because Timefall is an old game and people don't actually do content for it anymore, but I'm a special case. So, yeah. So, without further ado, we're going to start extracting the models, then textures, and then applying the mod uh, textures to the models. So, let, let's go. Open up the VPK tool of Timefall. Right now, you actually want to find the... Uh, go to the game files. I have... Uh, I have the game on, it, on an SSD. It is usually, if you're actually installing it from default, it will actually be in C programs and Origin and Origin games if you're using that. But you will need to go to the game files and then VPK. Right here, you need to find the. I'm actually going to. I mean, depending on the situation, what you want to extract may vary. You may want to extract like a fence, so you want to actually extract. Uh, uh, a map, spe map specific item, you know, um, update a model from an, uh, a model from a last update of the game or something like that. But I'm going to go and extract the face shift pilot. So judging from the face shift pilot, I'm actually going to um, tell you guys what uh, what I'm actually going to tell you this. Depending on your client name, it really doesn't really depend. I highly suggest you. To actually go in English client, common, English client, and multiplayer, common, dot BSP, dot BAK, O, -O, -O underscore DIR, and, and the VPK extractor for those who have never used this program only works on the DIR on the DIR files. So after you got English client underscore multiplayer underscore common there that v, uh, vpk open up the file and it'll be actually 
getting access to models and materials. I mean, you could actually, you can't actually get the textures via the, the material category in this procedure. That's why we have Legion, but we'll get back there in a second. So right now, we're going to go for the phase shift pilot. If I remember right, the phase shift pilot is in humans pilots. And right here, you have, we have multiple uh, multiple calling names in the MDL uh, format. And I'm going to show you right now on screen, I think it should actually be right now, what every pilot should be by their specific name. If you want to go for the most wonderful pilot like uh, that everyone loves, the grapple pilot, his name is pilot underscore medium underscore j's uh, female. This is female. So you can see they are female and male by their name. And I'm actually going to find the, the male version of that one. Pilot underscore light jet underscore. You could actually export every model and actually send them into a file and then actually do it. Uh, do it yourself but we're only specifying one pilot so after you get that you need to extract the file and i have a special folder on the desktop called row models because when you actually when you export the time uh, from the vpk into uh, the row models you'll actually get like multiple pieces at once all right so i'm going to actually go on the desktop uh, where's the kind of file? Timefall. Uh, I, I actually called it um, Timefall to Row Models. Row Models. There you go. Row Models. And there you go. We have extracted from the in game files the phase shift pilot model. But with the MDL pros, uh, name, you know? And now this is all about it. That's how you actually extract the model. But to make it a uh, normal, uh, so if you want to actually make it capable of actually being able, uh, if you want to actually get the model to work in Blender, you need the Legion. So you open up Legion, press on the Downfall 2 uh, tab, and then drop the MDL files format, uh, formatted files, the pilot model onto the space that you're required to put the items in. You are not actually getting a prompt because it already did everything for you. So you can actually go free, close it up, and the model will go in export the files, models, called pilot light underscore g underscore m. And it was for uh, it was actually converted from MDL to a uh, to source uh, source model uh, as from source model I don't know a you know, model you know and to show you guys the whole process this is literally how you actually get the model in uh, converted extracted from the game and converted into the uh, into uh, the SC model. Alright, open up now Blender, and for, in order for this to work, you need to introduce a plugin. I'm going to open a new file, go to the cube, then go in Edit, Preferences. Right here, you have Add-ons. Right on this add-on, um, you'll need to inter uh, actually um, activate the and the SC model support. This is the most important one you actually want to get. After getting the plugin enabled and restarting Blender for it to actually get activated, you want to go at Files, Import, SE Model. Here, you want to, uh, well, I have the documents on desktop. Um, I go to Legion. Exported files, models, 
and go to my desired model that I actually converted using the VPK method uh, from MDL to you know the Legion procedure. Then I go to pilot light underscore jet mail and I actually select it and import it. Now this is how you actually export uh, this is how you actually export the Timefall 2 models in Blender. So we are going to leave uh, the phase shift pilot right here because we need to extract the models uh, the, not the models, sorry about that, the textures so textures are a little bit more trickier is not used via the, the method of extracting is not via the VPK so in, we use the actual power of the Legion program that this program opens up the air pack files so you need to go to Timefall 2 respawn to the name of the game and packs Windows 64 and there it is the skins called, uh, and so on and so forth you don't really care for them unless you want to get the, uh, the color of the skin you want to get I, I don't really know the name of every skin if you want to pick up Supernova if you're a Nikiti fanboy you're actually free to do it uh, you're free to search through all of them you can actually find your skin but, uh, but I really really hope you're not doing that so without further ado we need to find common air pack common arp air pack this is actually the first update everyone has it when you install it this is the most uh, the biggest file in the game basically the first update of the game you open it and you can see decal sides and the model of the sides actually and the actual uh, and the actual models of the weapons you can actually go extract via the VPK the model of the weapons but the thing is you cannot for some reason you cannot find the model of the pilots in this location so do you guys remember the name of the pilot that we we're actually doing yeah we are actually doing the pilot the pilot underscore light underscore j uh, uh, jet mail Okay, so we need to find the texture so we let's type in pilot because we're only going to find pilots and we have a lot of skins I'm going to search up GAD I think the GAD is actually there we go so we we found the model of the face shift pilot we have the mo uh, the, the textures of the face shift pilot we got the uh, male version and as you can see, there are actually duplicates. And let me tell you this B comes from body, G comes from gear, he, he, A comes from helmet, I comes, no, I think this is J, this is J. J comes from jump kit, and VH comes from arm. And you can see there are two for the face shift pilot, there are actually three skins. So basically, you only go for skin one. You select skin one for each category. Uh, control click for each skin one from body, the gear, helmet, jump kit, a uh, jump kit, and hands. And you export selected. It's going to take like it's going. If you're going to get the status exporting, and that's how you actually export the textures. Texture will uh, the textures will be found in Legion, export the files, materials, and there they are. I actually exported a lot, uh, every part of the game because I'm actually animating everyone. And also, you can actually export and aim to actually render the nested. That's up to you. That's actually up to you.